um, you know, things started getting off script or whatever, uh, you know, dad would put him in a, in an arm bar or some sort of submission hold and he'd whisper in their ear. He's like, don't piss me off because they knew that if it did get out of hand and, you know, with the, the, the script and the, and who was going to win, who was going to lose the one out the window, he would beat the hell out of anybody he was in the ring with. So they were scared to death of him. So they listened to him. He's called the ring general. They listened to him. Now, how tough was your dad, Justin? I mean, oh, I've good heard God. stories over the years, but I'm curious. And how was he with you growing up? Uh, he's, I mean, when they say they call him the toughest man on God's green earth or the various different acronyms they use for tough for my dad, he was uh, that and all of it. The man had no he had unlimited pain tolerance. Um, oh. Yeah, he, uh, uh, there's stories. He, he broke his femur uh, and his leg in a match one time. And this is a long, long time ago, maybe 60s. Uh, he broke his femur in a match. And they took him to the hospital and they put a cast on him. Oh, well, he got out of the hospital, broke the cast off, got in the car and drove 300 miles to the next town and braced it up as best he could and wrestled the next night. Jeez. No wonder uh, your dad so tough like that. He was a whole farm boy. I mean, he didn't show pain. He, he started wrestling in the carnival. And that was against guys that had no uh experience in wrestling you know the, the pay a nickel to beat the guy in the ring well he was the guy in the ring and these big huge old hillbillies had come out of there with their bib overalls and four three hundred pound you know farm man strength and they didn't know how to wrestle though so it just turned into a big fist fight big brawl and he learned a lot from that he learned how to you know how to uh he was such a good technical wrestler but he turned. He learned, knew how to brawl too, and that's where he got that from. I mean, I've even heard stories of from for bets when he was in the circus. He'd take a a nail, not a big one, but a nail, and he'd push it in one side of his bicep and like from the inside, pull it out the other side. That is crazy, man. I yeah. Mean, did you ever get to see him in a real fight? A lot of times in the ring, it was a real fight. <laughs> Um, but no, I did see him. Uh, well, one one time comes to mind. There was a wrestler a wrestler here in Kansas City called Rufus R. Jones, and Rufus uh, R. Freight, Freight Train Jones, and he opened up a, a bar and restaurant near downtown. We're out in the suburbs now, but near downtown. Dad and I were having dinner in there one night with another couple guys. And uh, two gentlemen walked in the door. One stood by the door to keep people from leaving or coming in. The other one went table to table robbing people. They got to dad's table or our table. And from a sitting position, dad just went up and clocked him right, right in the chin. So hard that both the jaw bones will latch from the side of the guy's head. And they're from a sitting position. And the guy went down. Dad scooped him up and walked toward the door where the other guy was there. And the guy wasn't going to shoot his friend. So he threw one guy into the other guy. They both rolled out the front door. He grabbed a sack of stuff that they'd stolen from everybody, set it on the bar, said, folks, come get your stuff. And he went, sat down and finished his meal. <laughs> that is crazy, man. Uh